of all the people who have ever walked on the earth. There is one man who stands out from all of us, and that is Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4 verse 8 to 12 says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame, and are being asked how he was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Notice how Peter, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. While he was here on earth, there were people who believed in Jesus and worshipped him, but there were also those who rejected him. And as Peter said, those who rejected Jesus eventually found out that he became the cornerstone, meaning he was not just another man who they could reject and walk away from. He has become the cornerstone. And a cornerstone is defined as an important quality or feature on which a particular thing depends or is based. When it comes to construction, a cornerstone is the first stone set in a masonry foundation. All other stones will be set in reference to this cornerstone. And so the placing of the cornerstone determines the position of the entire structure. So those who reject Jesus will eventually find that he is the very thing that they need for eternal life. Accepting or rejecting Jesus Christ will determine the position, the direction and the trajectory of your life. So I say this to you today, don't reject the Lord. Be sensitive to his knock on your heart. Do not reject Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only one with unlimited mercy and compassion. He is the only one with true power and authority. He is the only one who in an act of pure love broke through the gates of hell to rescue you and me. He is the firstborn of the dead. That's why we declare Jesus to be the name above all other names, because there is no other like him. In all of human history, past, present and future, there will never be anyone like Jesus Christ. So it is to him that we direct all of our prayers and all of our praises. We don't place our faith in a vague and nameless deity, but we worship a living God. And so let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the only Son of God, the only one who came from heaven, lived a perfect life, but died for the sins of the world and then rose again in victory. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11, Therefore, 
God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Your name is above every other name, Lord Jesus. There is authority in your name. There is victory and protection in your name, Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Darkness will flee at the name of Jesus. Sickness is healed. Broken hearts are mended, all at the name of Jesus Christ. And you say in your word, in John chapter 14, verse 12 to 14, Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Prayers are answered in your name, Lord Jesus. You have so much power that whatever we ask in your name, you will do according to the will of God. And I would like to take the time out to praise you, to lift you up and say that you are holy, you are precious, you are an awesome God. Just as Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 6 says no one is like you Lord, you are great and your name is mighty in power. At the sound of your name Lord Jesus, the dead come back to life, sinners are saved, and hearts are brought from darkness into light. And when this earth comes to an end, it is at the name of Jesus that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he alone is Lord. All other names will pass away but only one name will remain, and that is yours, Lord Jesus. So I place my faith in you. I worship you for being so perfect and wonderful. Your love sent you to the cross, and you have given us the gift of salvation, all because you care that much. Your name, King Jesus, invokes action, because your name is mighty, it's life-giving, and it's a stronghold in times of trouble. Your word in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. I praise your name, King Jesus. I give you honour, and I say that you are holy and worthy to be praised. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.